Camden, New Jersey, once one of the largest cities in the state. This cross river neighbor to Philadelphia has seen one of the worst declines of a city in the last 70 years. Once a hub of activity, this city has changed more than almost any in America. This is what happened to Camden, New Jersey. Camden, New Jersey is one of the oldest settled areas in the U.S. The area that would become Camden would start off largely as a Quaker settlement in the 1600s. It would grow over time with the increasing ferry traffic between the New Jersey and Pennsylvania colonies. As Philadelphia would grow, so would the areas near it. Officially, Camden was established as a city in 1828 and would become one of the first major rail destinations, as its Camden and Amboy Railroad would be a major part in the connection between New York and Philadelphia. Throughout the second half of the 1800s, Camden would balloon in both manufacturing and population, with one of its major early employers being Campbell's Soup. From 1870 to 1920, the city would go from just over 20,000 to over 116,000 people. In 1899 and 1901, two of the largest employers in the history of the city would be established, the New York Shipbuilding Corporation and the Victor Talking Machine Company. New York Shipbuilding would employ 30,000 people at its peak, while the Victor Talking Machine Company, which would later become RCA Victor, would employ 12,000 at its peak. Products such as soups, phonographs, records, and ships would all be coming out of Camden during this era. The city's population would relatively level off from the 20s till 1950. The 1950 census would be where the population peaked, at 124,500 roughly. From then until the early 80s, Camden would lose more than two-thirds of its manufacturing jobs, with over 30,000 being lost. New York Shipbuilding would fold in 1968, citing a lack of demand from the military for ships, along with other company operational issues. General Electric would buy RCA Victor and eventually cease operations in Camden in the 80s. Campbell's Soup, in an effort to avoid conflict with unions, began to move jobs to other parts of the country and stopped using tomatoes from New Jersey, instead opting to source California tomato paste. The job losses associated with these three companies, along with several others during this period of deindustrialization, would hit Camden hard. From the 50s onward, there would be major suburbanization and white flight from the city, and businesses, customers, and employees would be pulled away from the city. Camden's crime rate would go up dramatically, and it has been consistently ranked as one of the most dangerous cities in the U.S. up until more recently. It would also have a history of racial and social tension, and from 1950 to present, the city has gone from 124,500 down to just under 72,000 today. Its long and tumultuous decline over the last 70 plus years has resulted in an emptier and blighted city dotted by signs of its former glory sitting right across the river from the large and bustling metropolis of Philadelphia. So what happened to Camden, especially when nearby Philadelphia has stayed relatively stable over the years? To put it simply, it was too manufacturing centered, especially on three companies, with two of them ceasing to exist today in Camden at all. Even Campbell's today only exists as a corporate office in Camden. And with rising crime, people and businesses would give pause into going there at all. While its losses were steep, they have leveled off the waterfront has been relatively redone, with Victor's former Nipper building receiving tens of millions of dollars in investment, along with several other new buildings being built. And there are some jobs and a campus of Rutgers University there, and crime has dropped some from previous highs. While Camden has shown some signs of the decline stopping and slowing, it still has a long way to declare a comeback, if it can at all. It remains to be seen where it goes from here. Thank you for watching.